Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to another uh, pro game analysis. This is going to be I think an Oni game. Yeah, it's an Oni game. Uh, I thought it was a good match. There was a lot of good points here to cover, so I decided to do analysis. I know you guys like those. You probably learn a lot from them, so I'll try to do a good one on this. Um, so you see my usual perk builder. I'm actually thinking about changing that perk build. I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to change Rancor there. Uh, I don't want to change barbecue yet because I still want points, but once I don't then I will definitely change barbecue also uh, So you can see found my first guy there Already he had um spring burst so this will get the hit here normally Start building up our power now one thing uh, first point I want to make here notice how I'm not picking up the orbs uh, That is on purpose First first of all you slow down when you pick up the orbs. So it's not, it's not really something you want to be doing mid chase Unless you're gonna you know get your power, but um I should have like to leave them around like this uh, after even after I hooked them because I plan on getting that after Essentially, I'm planning using my uh, because if you don't know the Oni's ability already charges by itself Even if you're not picking up the orbs, okay? So you see like for example right now I'm not gonna pick up the orbs because I, I, want, I want to have I want to have the uh, the passive do the work for me before I actually pick up the orbs You know because if I pick the orbs right now, it's not gonna give me the full power So I'm essentially just wasting those orbs now if, if I come back to the same area with my uh, power already pretty much two orbs to full then those orbs will make those orbs will make the difference you know what I mean so I'm essentially uh, making use out of my passive here instead of uh, randomly picking up orbs and, and you can see sometimes I don't, I don't even need you see right there I did I did not even need those orbs so orbs so I essentially just save them you know so now they're still there for me to get later if I need it and my power is still ready Picking, picking them up earlier would not have made any difference in regarding getting my power, as you can see right there. So that's my point. Instead of just wasting them, I, I'm just leaving them for later, you know, by using the just my passive skill alone to build my power as well as um, as well as the hits. The hits build a lot of the power. So see, now it's a good time. I can actually use my power. Uh, and those orbs will also be there for later if I need it. Uh, this should be an easy hit. Only can do a full uh, 90 degree turn, so as long as it's inside the 90 degree angle, you should be able to get the hit right there, no matter what. And right there, I was going for. It's not. It's not. I'm gonna call it a blind hit, but it's not really, you know, technically a blind hit, blind hit, because I I am um, using the sounds to locate there. So I'm trying to do a bait here. There is a way to play this window. I believe if not right now, later in the in the match, I'll show you how to play that window. When that situation happens so right here i'm just trying to find someone else before my power runs out but unfortunately you know i try i, I could have canceled there instead of running at the rock but i was just i was just hoping that it would be enough time it just just wasn't unfortunately but i could have totally canceled instead of running at the, the rock right there i just i just had a, thought i had enough time but i actually didn't uh so found the jake the jake again so again remember all those herbs i haven't picked up a single orb yet so all those herbs in the entire map are still there uh, but it, I, I'm, I'm not I don't think I will actually grab them yet because again like they're gonna not gonna give me my power So I, I want to use them to actually get my power not to just randomly build it You know because the hits and the passive skill will already do that for me, okay? Um, so you see I'm just kind of patrolling here a little bit I don't know what the others are. I'm, I'm not sure if I look at barbecue, but you know though those yeah, I can see there's like what like four gens pretty close to the hook right there so it's a pretty good position. Uh, those those far gen gens, I really do not have have much to worry about because they're, they're not going to really change the match right now. And there you go. There, there goes the person that I was kind of looking for. So in this case, I don't want to hit her because if I do, I'm just essentially guaranteeing that she will get the save. Mm. By doing like this, I'm forcing her to go for it, and then I can try maybe a catch. You know, I can I can avoid borrow time as well from triggering if she has it didn't happen right there so if that if, if I can't make the catch happen then just 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 normally trade um so I'm gonna go for the Jake because I want to get him off the game and she's she's gonna be on the floor as well so that's way more pressure than if I just pick her up and hook her and still they're all as you can see they're all like dropping more herbs around the map but you see again I'm not picking up and by the time I down him I should be able to to have my power notice how my passive is booting the power by by, by his by itself okay so you see, now because I saved all those herbs, I can just go, go back and pick them up when, when my power is already close to full. And I will be able to get it that way. Because I'm constantly saving the, the orbs from earlier, you know? So that's what, what allows me to be more efficient in this way. 
So you see, when I actually need the power and, and I'm not able to get a hit, that's when I use the orbs to, to get the power. Um, so right here, I wasn't really trying to commit to the um, the Claudette there. I'm, I'm really just kind of waiting for his DS to go out while I am uh, kind of building pressure on the others. And, and you can see right there all those orbs that I picked up from earlier that I, I left them there on purpose for this scenario here. No one is injured, so there's no more orbs being dropped at this moment. I'm looking for the Jake here. There he goes. There's only, by the way, there's only like a, uh, at this point he doesn't have the ass, so I know I can pick him up. Uh, there's like, I think only, uh, there's a max of only 100 orbs, orbs that can be around the map. So you still have to be kind of, you know, uh, take note of that. You, you, you cannot just, you know, leave literally every orb the entire game on the map because they're gonna, they're gonna vanish eventually, you know, because there's a cap to it. There's only 100. So if there's people injured all everywhere. Uh, you know, they're, they're gonna be constantly spawning and, and missing the old ones, okay? Despawning the old, the old or orbs. So, but it's a hundred. It's not a, it's not a small number, but it's still a cap number. So again, she seems like she's playing that window. From that angle, I cannot get her on that window. So, I'm just gonna go for this guy here. This, it's in a worse scenario, worse position. Now, she's probably still there, so that's why I'm coming, I'm going back. And this is a much better angle. Uh, I think right here, if I if I curved a little earlier, maybe I could have hit her there. Because uh, maybe I curved a little too late. He's, he's still going forward as he's doing the turn. So that's probably why I hit the door there instead of going inside because I did it too late. So that extra turn uh, going forward that he's still doing while, while making the 90 degrees turn is probably what caused me to hit the door in there. Uh, it could have been just a, a bad angle though. Because I, you know... A better way to take care of that, it would be to make the turn a little wider on the shack there. That could have helped. Uh, I think Claudette, yeah, they already got Claudette up. She's injured, so she's gonna be dropping blood everywhere here. See, I already, uh, the, the hit like that builds, I think, 45% or 40% of your power. So it's almost half for every hit that you get. See, I'm gonna pick up those herbs up. Because I'm planning on getting my power real soon here, and she's also, you know, notice how she's dropping as well. I'm, I'm meant to combo with these other ones right here, so I can, uh, I can get my power. I don't need to down her right now, you know, because I have a lot of pressure. I know someone's gonna be going. For, there's only two people left, you know, to go for the save. So I can just kind of doing do what I'm doing here, kind of keep trading between one and the other, and they get they pretty much ping pong them around, you know, while they're trying to go for the save, and no one is doing gems. Uh, so that's pretty much easy at this point, but you can see I'm gonna show you how to play the window here Well, I guess it was not this time. Maybe it's a little later uh, But yeah, if you, if, you, if you manage to get that early you can just hit him before she bolts it. I think she's gonna She's gonna What's it called? 4% here if I remember correctly Oh, and you see again the orbs from before are helping me right now just like I mentioned when you let the passive do the work for you When you don't actually need to pick up the orbs you have the benefit of picking them later to to get your power power That was almost a hit right there. So you see she's still going back to that window I techn techn technically did not have to but I'm just gonna use my power here Because she's already injured, you know, but I want to down her a little faster. So I want to have my power and you see this is how you do it That was essentially a bait right there so I kind of I kind of faked going to the right, and you know, because she, she thought I was going to the right, she vaulted, and, and then I just get on on the other side. Okay, it's, it's essentially just baiting her, really, kind of up a mind game there. And yeah, that's a good way you can play the windows when you have Oni's power against the survivors. It work it work. This works for multiple scenarios, but you know, just that from that angle on windows, it's just that side angle on windows is, is one way that you can you can play around it when you have this power ready because you know if, I, if I'm just straight following up her that wouldn't work but by doing the bait like that I, I can catch up you know and get the hit so now I'm just looking for the uh, Kate I'm using my power because you know it's much faster to walk around the map this way so I'm kind of checking the the previous locations that she was she was around here somewhere so I know I know she's probably behind me or she she just like crawled very far so I'm, I'm checking for the first option here which is sorry the second option which is that she crawled very far uh, he's here. Right now, there's no way she would be right here, so that's why I'm, I'm not looking to to um, further way beyond this. Because there's no way she would have crawled up to this point with the time that she had to do it, you know. So I know at this point, because I can find her, she's probably in that corner that that, I, that was behind me. It's the only, it's kind of the only possibility she could be on. 
And I think I'm gonna check that now. That little corner that I mentioned. And there she is. The way you, I mean, you can you can kind of have an idea, especially if you have a lot of experience, like how much the survivors can crawl in a certain amount of time. And you know, in that case, she was either on one of the spots that I that I I was is in my power to check, or she was in that corner, hiding. You know, because I couldn't hear her. It turns out she was in the corner. I I, I looked at the corner last because you know. She kind of move around from that corner, so it's easy to find her. But if I if I well if I looked at the corner first, and she was on the on the far far options, she could you know be going even further away. You know that wouldn't be good. So that's why I checked the, the further away options first before the the corner there. I still got her before she she got down. So I think we have rank reset here as well. So kind of annoying. Have to play low ranks. But oh well. I think these guys are actually not as low rank considering it was the rank reset. They were, they were probably red ranks that were on purple because of the reset. Yeah, it seems like it. I'm using unbreakable too. So yeah guys, that's the game. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Take care.